fans and American Revolution mod fans. Uh, this is uh, Hip63, uh, one of the creators of the TAR mod. Uh, we're just putting together a little video here to show you how to install the mod. Uh, actually, the TAR mod's pretty straightforward to install, uh, but just in case anybody has any questions or problems, we thought a video might be nice to have. Uh, so well, let's just jump right in and get to it. Now we're going to have the mod available uh, at moddatabase.com uh, and of course uh, that's modb.com uh, and then of course the Total War Center forums. Uh, you, know, you can just google up either one of those places uh, and we'll have it available for free download uh, once it is uh, officially released. Uh, and hopefully that'll be uh, by the time you see this video. <laughs> so anyway, uh, let's just jump right in and, and show you how to get this thing installed. So I've already got it downloaded to my desktop here. Um, and you know, this should be the file name. Uh, it may alter it slightly, but no worries. You know, we'll have it out there. So you just going to download it. And then uh, it is a 7-zip archive. So, you know, 7-zip, uh, that's a free download if you don't already have it. Uh, just once again Google that and uh, you can download 7-Zip for free. It's a great compression program. It's what I use to uh, help build the installer and uh, it's a really nice bit of free software. Uh, inside you'll find a readme file which uh, we're not going to you know, go over that verbatim right now but you know, it just gives you some general information about the package that you just downloaded. Uh, but this is what you want right here. We're just going to drag this folder to the desktop got all the install files in it and good to go all right so we can close 7-zip now and let's get in there all right so you see there's two files here the exe is the one that you need to worry about running uh, do not worry about this file uh, it works with the exe the exe will this is basically the data store for the bulk of the mods uh, so the setup will take care of extracting the data from the GGS file. So all you have to do is just double click this and you're good to go. Matter of fact, we're, we can even close this folder. Um, and here it is. Here's the installer, uh, the American Revolution mod, uh, 10th anniversary edition, version 3.0. Uh, yeah, it's been a while. Uh, we put this mod out roughly 10 years ago, uh, version 2.0 beta. And uh, unfortunately, there that release was pretty buggy and I shoulder a good bit of that blame myself um, but this is this new version has been rebuilt from the ground up uh, it's I've really gone through and made sure all the options work uh, and you know we've uh, had a small team but uh, we have been doing our best to uh, squash all the bugs and uh, keep keep it a nice stable game experience for you um, so yeah, we rebuilt practically everything from scratch. Uh, also, uh, our artist team, uh, they've revamped all our uh, American Revolution mod units. Uh, so they've all been, uh, some of them remodeled, uh, uh, vast majority, you know, all of them have been retextured. Uh, Toon Total War did a fantastic job of uh, retexturing all that stuff. Uh, also, Geronimo, uh, 2006, you know, former member, uh, he also helped with the modeling and, and did a great job for us. Uh, and then uh, myself, I, I worked on uh, the launcher and the installer and making sure those things were up to date. And uh, like I said, rebuilt in the launcher from scratch practically, and a lot of work went into it. So let's get on with it. Um, we're just going to click next here, and we've got some uh, little yada yada here telling you what's what's in here. Of course, you can check this out uh, when you download it. So we're just going to get on with it. Uh, once again, you know, we're just giving you some information. Make sure the game is closed before installing. Duh. Uh, and also, it's not to be sold, and then for free distribution only. So if you run across somebody trying to sell you this thing, don't do it. We'll have it for free okay yeah let freedom ring so anyway uh, and a big thanks to everyone out there okay so we're just gonna do the old degree click next now then I've obviously installed this before <laughs> so it does write a registry to remember where it's been installed to so that's why 
uh, this is popping up, but when you're first time installer, it's probably going to just default to C drive program files, yada, 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 uh, Steam, blah, blah, blah. Uh, so, and that's fine if that's where you've got your Steam installed, just let it ride. But, you know, if you like me and you have like uh, other hard drives, other locations that you install Steam games to, then of course you want to make sure you browse to that. You know, you got a browse button here, uh, and you know, you just browse to your game. Now, and then here's the thing the, the installer will check to make sure you are installing to the Empire folder. So let's say you grab the wrong folder by accident, whatever. So, yeah, obviously, this is not. Empire. So we're going to click next here and hey, it won't let you do it. It knows that's not the Empire folder, so it says Ixnay. So yeah, so let's go back and get the right folder. So once you get the right folder, you know, your big clue is it ends in Empire Total War. Uh, then you know you're in the right spot. So when we click next, it actually lets it proceed. We don't get an error message and we're good to go. So, and like it says, it is extracting a lot of data. Like I said, we got over 17 gig in a small package. So, yeah, it's going to take a minute. So we're going to click next. And it's also letting you know that, you know, that GGS archive we looked at, that's actually, uh, we're going to use 7-zip to extract that. And the installer already has that. So it's going to take care of all that. So we're just going to click uh, next. And you see it's starting to grab files and then of course you see this pop up and this is like I said this is 7-zip extracting from that big archive and putting it where it needs to be um, so we're just going to give this some time it'll take a little time to unpack uh, of course this faster computers will unpack it faster so if you've got a, a pretty new machine this shouldn't take uh, terribly long just a few minutes and of course if you're on older hardware yeah it might take a little um, so you can see it's skipping along here pretty good. It gives you a uh, percentage as well as what it's actually extracting at the moment, where it's putting it, that kind of thing. Um, so just give it some time and it'll, it'll uh, take care of it. Uh, since we're waiting on it, I want to plug my band real quick. Yeah, Delta Crunch, baby. Go out to YouTube and just type in Delta Crunch and you can find videos of my band. Uh, we play rock, we play blues. Actually, we kind of play whatever the hell we feel like playing, but uh, we got quite a few clips out there on YouTube. Just go to our Delta Crunch channel and uh, check that out when you get a chance. And, you know, that's me. All right. Um, so anyway, as you can see, it's, it's already at 86% uh, here. It's moving along pretty nice for the amount of data that we're having to extract. Um, now, of course, I am using solid state drives here. Um, so that that helps, um, but just let you know that uh, you know if it's running a little slower for you, just be patient. It will, it will get the job done. Um, so anyway, uh, just another minute or two, and this puppy will be installed. Yep, gives you a little uh, message there, letting you know it's all done, and there you go. We're at the into the install here you got a little readme you know um, now this is a rich text format it's not an actual word document you know uh, so you should be able to open this document and just whatever your favorite document editor of choice is um, but anyway you got to read me there uh, you can check that out when you get it downloaded uh, and then of course uh, it did let me drag it in the screen here it did throw the shortcut on the desktop um, now I didn't mention this while I was installing but it does put up that shortcut rather early so do not click it until you actually get to the screen um, this checkbox is basically the same thing it just uh, launches the mod uh, interface and we're gonna have it now we're gonna do a separate inter uh, mod for the launcher um, it's uh, got a lot of options in it so it's a you know bit more to go through so uh, that's gonna be another video we're gonna do later um, and we'll walk you through some of the things about the launcher, but we'll go ahead and uh, leave that checkbox in and hit exit and let you get a little peek at it right now. <laughs> okay, we'll go over these messages uh, in the launcher video, but uh, that's it. There's the uh, launcher uh, you use to activate and start the mod. Uh, you'll choose your options, and like I said, we'll go on another video, and then you just choose 
what you want to play and it'll actually once the files are in place it'll actually launch the game for you so um, like I said we'll do another video going over all that so uh, we're just going to exit out and uh, you guys have fun and uh, we'll get this mod released soon talk to you then bye